Okay, so a few of you have asked me about SubEasy, so I wanted to do this quick review and demo uh, before it leaves the store in a few days. Now, I was testing out this tool earlier with 200 credits, and I gotta say, 200 credits is definitely on the lower end, and I'll explain why in a moment. So if I were you, I would get at least tier two or higher. Not only do you get more credits, but with tier three, you can batch transcribe and you can export the video in 4K. So I would get tier three, but if these two are not that important, then at least get a tier two. Now, people always ask me what tools I use in my business. So I created this free Notion doc of my must-have SaaS tools for digital entrepreneurs. Now, I've used all of these tools before and can highly vouch for them. I update this on a frequent basis. So if you want free access to this Notion spreadsheet, just click the link down in the description below. So you can start by either uploading a file from your computer or pasting a URL right here. So I added one of my YouTube video links and I'm gonna click on transcribe. You need to tell it what language the audio is. So you can choose from all of these uh, various languages. And when it comes to supported languages, what I will do is include a list of all of the supported languages in the description below so you can uh, check it out. Okay, so you can choose which language the video is in. You can also select multilingual or auto detect. Um, auto detect, that's what I'm gonna select. And you could choose accurate or speed mode. I'm gonna do accurate. Now, if your audio is noisy, you can select noisy audio. And you can also add a glossary of words that will automatically identify frequently appeared similar sounding words such as names, places, or proper nouns. And you also have the option to remove filler words. So I'm gonna check that. And if it's a song, you can select it's a song. Now this clear plus will enhance the accuracy of your transcriptions even in noisy environments. So I'm gonna click on start. So again, I started with uh, 200 credits and when I was just testing out the tool, playing around with the tool, um, I'm now down to 33 credits, okay? And I'll show you exactly uh, what I did earlier today as well. So essentially, I uploaded these two YouTube videos and I transcribed both of them, this one into Spanish and this one into Arabic, Hindi, and Spanish. And I also um, dubbed them as well. And that literally consumed almost 200 credits. So if you are translating and dubbing, you know, more than a couple of videos a month, then I would definitely skip tier one. And also the amount of credits it consumes will depend on how long your videos are. So these two videos are about 17 minutes long. Okay, so that took less than five minutes to transcribe this 17 minute video. So the English transcription is right here and taking a quick look at it, it's actually not too bad. It spelled the tool name correct, like feed space here. And also it spelled AppSumo correctly as well, which is nice to see, but sometimes it will make mistakes. So what you wanna do is click on this icon to AI refine and correct it. So this will automatically correct misheard speech from audio recognition. Now this will consume a half credit per minute. So for this specific video, it will consume 8.39 credits. So I'm gonna click on confirm. Okay, so the AI uh, refined and corrected all of these errors. So for this first one, it transcribed it into I've came across, but the AI is changing it to I've come across. And this one is another great example. So API and webhook is one word originally, and the AI separated it into two words. This one is a good correction here. So feed space was split into two words and then it corrected uh, the tool name into uh, one word. Then you can click on confirm and it will update your uh, transcript right here. Now, when it comes to dubbing, there's two options. So you can replace the original audio with AI voices, so different languages, or you can generate subtitles with a voiceover. So say for example, you have a video where no one is speaking and you want to add a voiceover over that, 
or maybe part of your video no one is speaking but you want to add a voiceover, you can select generate subtitles with a voiceover. Now when it comes to that, you can actually include new um, transcriptions right over here, okay? And then you can add a voiceover which will basically speak out your new transcript, your new captions. You can also go line by line and let the AI um, correct any transcription outputs and also do AI dubbing line by line if you want to as well. Now, before you go ahead and do the dubbing, they suggest you reflow. So this will automatically resegment your subtitles. Now, this is important because if you were to dub it into a different language that uses like longer characters or longer words, then you'll want to reflow it so like that the text will properly appear on the screen when you are like speaking in the video, okay? Now let's translate my English transcript. So you have three translation options. You could use um, Microsoft. This will take the least amount of credits and SubEasy AI is better quality. This will take more credits and if you want superior quality, it's two credits per uh, minute. And these are all of the languages you can translate to. And again, I'll include a list of these languages in the description below. Also keep in mind that Microsoft and SubEasy will include different languages, okay? So as you could see, Microsoft only has one Chinese, but if you do the SubEasy AI, it'll have Cantonese spoken as well. Now, if you click on multi, this is where you can do the batch transcriptions. If you want this option, you will need to grab license tier three. Now, unfortunately, I only have 25 credits left, so I cannot batch transcribe. So I'm just going to select uh, Spanish. So we have Spanish here. Now I'm gonna click on translate. Okay, so it is translating. And I did notice that it was going to take zero credits. Not totally, totally exactly sure why it didn't take um, any credits. I believe, but let's see what happens once it's done translating. Okay, so that just took a handful of seconds. So now uh, my transcript is translated into Spanish. So you could see in yellow the Spanish and the English is in white. Now let me play it for you. If you want more business, showcasing customer testimonials can really help. But trying to get them to leave a review, let alone record. Okay, so not too bad. Now keep in mind that this is only the translation. Now we need to dub it. So if we go to dubbing, we can replace the original audio with AI voices. I want to dub my entire video, so I'm gonna select all of the lines. Then we need to select a voice. And we have two models to choose from. Microsoft will take 0.1 credit per 1000 characters, and the SubEasy AI voice model will take one credit per 1000 characters. So my current language is uh, Spanish, but you can select, you know, a different language that you want to dub it into. You have a variety of both male and uh, female voices. Now for special, you can have these Christmas style of voices if you want to. So let me do Santa Claus. Let me play it for you. La abuela está friendo churros en la cocina. Okay, so pretty cool. Let me go to male and let me play a handful of them. La abuela está friendo churros en la cocina mientras los Okay, let's do Ethan. La abuela está friendo churros en la cocina mientras los niños juegan. Orion. La abuela está friendo churros en la cocina mientras I kind of like Orion, so I'm going to select Orion and you can select a tone. So if you want um, the language, the voice to be happy, sad, angry, so on and so forth, you can select that. Now dubbing this 17 minute video will take almost 16 credits. Okay, so that took less than one minute or so. So now we have the Spanish dubbing. Okay, so let me play the video. If you want more business, actually, no, that's English. Let me click here. Si quieres aumentar tu negocio, mostrar testimonios de clientes, puede ser de gran ayuda. Pero conseguir que dejen una reseña y ya ni hablar de que graben un testimonio en video okay, es so realmente complicado. Bad. Now, what I will do is include a link in the description with all of the videos that I transcribed and dubbed so you can take a listen to see how you like them before you decide on grabbing the tool. All right, now that we finished the dubbing, let's work on this video further. 
You can change how the captions animate. So there's a variety of different animation styles you can choose from. You can also change the look of the captions as well. Now what's cool is you can change the font for each language and also uh, the font color and size. Right now it's set as a uh, Noto Sans, but there's a variety of fonts uh, you can choose from. They also have Latin, Chinese, Chinese traditional, Japanese, Korean, Vietnamese, Thai, and other. The size of the English text is 20 and it's white, and the Spanish text is 22 and yellow. So I kind of like how this looks already, so I'm not going to change it. What you can also do is generate a summary, notes, create an entire blog post, create meeting minutes, social media posts, and a Q&A from your video using the AI companion. I actually really like this. Uh, let's do blog post. Now, by the way, you can also decide to generate any of these texts into whichever language you want. That's listed right here. I'm going to keep it as English, then click on create, and this will take one credit. Okay, so that took about less than one minute, and we have an entire blog post from our video. And taking a quick glance at it, the blog post is actually uh, not too bad. So we can see here why testimonials uh, matter, what is feed space, collecting reviews, showcasing reviews, and it touches on everything that I mentioned in the video. So I really like how this blog post uh, was generated. What you can also do is send this video transcription into ChatGPT. Now this feature is essentially a custom GPT. So you need to connect your SubEasy account with this custom GPT and then it'll fetch your transcript and you could basically ask, ask it anything you want. Okay, so for this uh, video, um, I asked it to give me a summary. So ChatGPT took a look at the transcript and it gave me this entire summary. So from here, you could basically ask ChatGPT anything you want in regards to your video. Now, keep in mind that when you are prompting any custom GPT, if you are on the free version of ChatGPT, you will be limited in terms of how many times you can prompt it over a period of time before you need to wait, and then you can uh, chat with the custom GPT again. So if you truly want to chat with this custom GPT or any custom GPT, then you will definitely need to be on the paid version of ChatGPT. Now, this is another uh, video that I translated and dubbed. So for this video, I translated it into Arabic, Hindi, and Spanish. Let me very quickly show you Arabic just so like that you can take a look at how the characters uh, look like. And here is how the Hindi characters look like. And also if your video has multiple speakers, you can identify different speakers, making it easier to read right over here. Now let me quickly play a little bit of the Hindi for you. I have tools Okay, so once you are done editing, translating, and dubbing, the last thing is to export it. And you have three options here. You can export into a video, audio, or download these subtitles. Now the resolution is 720p. So if you want to export in 4K, then you would need to grab tier three. You also have the option to add your own branded watermark as well, either text or image. If you want a text watermark, you can uh, select a different font, the size, the opacity, and also the location as well. You also have the option to bring over the dubbing and remove the original vocals if you want to. 